So you're looking at the shop and you're like, hmm, do I refresh that? Do I reset it? But I'm wasting coins. I can just buy it over time. No, this video, I'll show you why. So hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. Today is going to be a short one, but it's an important one and one I probably should have made a little bit earlier, to be honest. Let's talk about refreshing and resetting both stamina and the various coin shops. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with stamina. Should you refresh stamina? Hmm, yes. Probably, yeah. How many times? About 3 to 11 times a day. But before anything, let's put some guardrails on this. Don't go over 14 times because the value of each gem spent for the stamina drops drastically after 14. And I know that sounds like crazy variance, but hear me out. The reason that you would do this is because it could get you really far in a really short amount of time. And by really far, what I really mean is collecting the gems, the first time rank bonuses from PA and BA. I personally opted not to do this because I thought I could push through with my sheer will and determine it didn't work like at all. So the main benefit again of you pushing is that you can get those top ranks in BA and PA as easily as possible. And this nets you a massive amount of the first time ranking gems. So in total, I don't think it tells you this, but it's about 27K for each one. So that's actually a total of 54K. Now, if you did what I did and relied on the fact that we're all going to be eventually hitting the ceiling, right? It really does become a lot more about the matchups and it's going to be later down the line. What this does mean is that you're going to be competing with other players for those ranks and the general population. Whereas if you fast track, it. So you can see it's a little bit harder to achieve because it's going to be more competitive. Therefore, if you rush, you can get in before everyone else. However, there's also the argument of, am I just wasting gems then? Because I can probably get the first time rewards eventually. No. And the reason is because there is always like a risk of you not actually ever being able to hit those higher ranks for those gem rewards. It might turn out that you just never get to rank one to clear it all out because of all them whales, right? That's probably going to be me. <laughs> I chose the wrong bracket. So paying those gems to speed up your progress is kind of like mitigating that risk. It's kind of ensuring that you get as many of the gems from that pot as possible. Also, getting those gems early on could actually come in clutch for the earlier banners. So for example, maybe Summer Kyaru comes along and you'd already spent a whole bunch going for Jun. Is your stash still big enough to handle going for Summer Kyaru as well? If you rushed for it, if you refreshed, maybe? But if you didn't and you had to spark for Jun, probably not. Keep in mind that all of this, all of this refreshing strategy, this is all contingent on the opening of new brackets for both PA and BA. So if you do have the confirmation that that there are new brackets, you can go rush it and you can go secure that rank one. All right, let's talk about refreshing the shops then. Normal shop, you pretty much don't touch this. Dungeon, okay, dungeon shop. Yes, I refreshed the dungeon shop. However, this is with the monthly pack where I get double dungeon coins and that actually comes to about 3K coins a day, which equates to about four characters almost. When you reset, however, or refresh, you only do it up to three times. It's the first one that you get for the day and then you refresh three times, so that's four in total. And the reason you don't go further than this is because the price just skyrockets and it kind of isn't really worth it anymore. I mean, somebody could come out with the math and say, yeah, it's actually worth it. But generally, you really only want to refresh three times. It's a good Good rule for like everyone not you whales though major reason why you want to refresh on dungeon a lot is because there are just so many high priority targets in there and it actually translates the value of you spending coins into more coins other coins so here's how so yukari and nozomi they are actually very key to a lot of the content right now from being able to cheese the very hard dungeon to holding your position in PA and BA. Like imagine seeing a four star Nozomi or a three to four star Yukari. It kind of makes you think twice about attacking that. And if you're able to actually hold that higher PA or BA position, it means that you're getting more coins from the arenas, which is actually harder to get than the dungeon coins. So no, you're not wasting the dungeon coins by refreshing. You're actually using them to make sure that you can make more of the other coins earlier. So if you spend, let's say 10, 30, whatever, coins now and then you skyrocket your rank from like 1k to 500 or like from 5k to 1k or something like that you're going to be making a lot more coins and that and those 10 dungeon coins that you spent at the start will be repaid in PA or BA coins. And if you still haven't finished the very hard dungeon, it could even repay in dungeon coins. Getting Nozomi, getting Yukari higher could actually get you that extra 300 to 600 coins. And I guarantee you that the value will be there when you can shorten the time to being able to actually do the very hard dungeon. The next one, Battle Arena. So I'm not good enough to refresh or reset this, but if you are, you could. Same rationale for these guys. There are a couple of high priority targets. You got Monika, you got Tamaki, and you got Reno, and even Hiori, to be honest. So typically, I sit around the 800s for arena and that maybe gets me like enough coins for a character and a bit. So obviously for me, it's not really worth it to reset if I can only get like a character or two a day. And again, the rationale here is the same. If you're able to max out an arena character faster, then it's going to help you hold the positions in the PA and the BA and you're going to get more coins in the long run. So 
for example, if I see a Tamaki four star or a Reno four star or, or Tamaki five star, I freaking scroll, man. I freaking scroll right past that. I refresh. But that is only because my own characters are not four or five star. Seeing it makes you feel like you can't beat them. And funnily enough, for a little waifu game, Psychology has a lot to do with it. Princess Arena shot. Wow. Okay, so this one is actually a little bit harder. So I don't refresh this and I don't think I ever will be able to. And it's essentially the same rationale as the rest of them. If you're strong enough, you can do it. If you're getting enough coins, you can do it. But there's not going to be many of us that will be able to. So when I, when I said I scrolled past high star Tamakis and Renos, the only thing I scroll faster from is three star Miyakos. They are just such a pain without the Mage Melt comp, right? And speaking of the Mage Melt comp, PA is actually one of the entries to it. You got the Ana here and you've got the Hatsune here. Though to be honest, I would actually be prioritizing Kari and Suzuna if you don't have Shiori. They're going to be very important for our first few clan battles. Bonus content. Let's have a quick flick through the hard story farmable shards. This bonus part is only for if you have already a couple of solid teams already at R7 max refined. So maybe about like 10, 12 R7s at least, maybe one of the team's max refines. But what's really important is that you're holding a respectable rank in BA and PA. You're going to want to farm for Kokoro 3 stars. Yui 3 star, Saren 3 star, Shiori 3 star if you don't have Suzuna and Pekrin 3 star if you don't have any other tanks. You could also go for Shizuru, but I think she's less priority than the others. Last one that I would consider is the Lima 2 to 3 stars, but that's only if you're insistent on running the Reno comp. Uh, I'll talk about the Reno comp in another video, but it's essentially Lima, Yukari, Mitsuki, Reno, Yuki. And if you have these guys, hold on tight because I'll be bringing that content very soon. With that being said, that brings me to the end of the video. So let me give you a recap because that was short, but a lot of info. Number one, if you want to get ahead, you refresh your stamina. The amount of times that you refresh your stamina will dictate the amount of the first time ranked gems that you can get from the BA or PA. Never go beyond 14 refreshes. Number two, refresh your dungeon shop, especially if you have the monthly pass. This will help you hold your BA and PA positions better and that will earn you more of those BA and PA coins, which are harder to get than the dungeon coins. Number three, refresh the BA and PA if you can. Majority of us won't be able to do it, but you might actually be able to. It's for the same reasons as the above, but it could actually potentially help you with clan battle as well because of the Akari. So if I was to summarize this whole video in one sentence, you need to spend money to be able to make money. Instead of thinking about that 10 reset cost as a cost, think of it as an investment, right? Because you're going to invest in it and in return, you're going to be able to get the faster dungeon coins or the more PA or BA coins, etc. So again, that's the end of the video. Here's a secret message. I just want more coins, man. If you could drop that secret message into the comments below, that would just tell me that you've watched the entire video and I'd be so appreciative if you would do that. But again, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you could like, sub, follow, whatever else there is, I would really appreciate it. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.